Okay, what if you run into a problem that looks like this, where it says sodium-22 undergoes electron capture? What does that mean? Well, first of all, uh, sodium-22, this is how um, elements, isotopes are written out. Sodium-22 uh, means uh, you have a sodium nucleus or atom, and the 22 here means it tells you what isotope it is. It tells you the atomic number, or I'm sorry, the uh, atomic mass, mass number. Uh, so you can write 22 up there for sodium, and the atomic number for sodium is 11. That's something you can find on the periodic table. It's always going to be 11. So that's how you would write sodium 22. Again, the 22 in the name indicates the mass number, which you write up here. Okay, and it says it undergoes electron capture. What that means electron capture is that the sodium nucleus is um, taking in an electron or absorbing it into itself. So it's not, this is not a valence electron. It's not um, gaining a valence electron. This is, a, this is the nucleus of sodium absorbing, capturing an electron into itself. And I'll show you a little bit more about what that means, but uh, let's do the problem first. If it's undergoing electron capture, if it's adding to it, then we're going to put sodium-22 plus uh, the electron particle. And that we write like this, E, 0, and negative 1. The 0, uh, it, the electron has a mass number of 0, because remember, mass number tells you the number of protons and neutrons. Well, this is an electron. It has no protons, no neutrons. So it's zero. And we give an atomic number of negative one. Atomic number tells you the number of protons. Uh, it's not actually zero. We write negative one because it's actually opposite in charge of a proton. So we give it an atomic number of negative one. So an electron will always have these uh, mass numbers and atomic number. Okay, so that's the first part of our equation. Then we draw our arrow. What does this produce? If sodium undergoes electron capture. Well, this goes back to balancing nuclear equations. Um, if we have 22 over here and 0 for the uh, mass numbers, we should have a total of 22 on the right side. So you can go ahead and write mass number of 22. How about the uh, atomic numbers? We have 11 and negative 1. So the total atomic number on the left side, 11 minus 1 equals 10. So on the right side, we also need an atomic number totaling 10. So you can go ahead and write that. OK. so. What element is this? What nuclei is this? Well, atomic number 10 on the PR table is neon. So what we have here is a balanced nuclear equation that shows that when sodium captures an electron, it turns into a neon nuclei. Uh, and what that means is, if it's capturing an electron, in the nucleus, what's actually happening is that one of the protons in sodium absorbs that electron. It absorbs that electron, and the charges that it, the charges cancel out, and it becomes a neutron. So when a proton combines with an electron, it becomes a neutron, and that's why. Uh, you don't lose, that's why the um, atomic mass doesn't change, it's 22 to 22, it stays the same, uh, but you see the atomic number actually changes. Over here, sodium had 11 protons, sodium had 11 protons over here, uh, that proton absorbed an electron and turned into a neutron, and so you actually lose, you decrease in the number of protons coming to 10. But the, but the equation is still balanced because, because of the 11 
minus 1 makes 10 on this side, 10 on this side. It's a balanced nuclear equation. Uh, sodium has gone, un has undergoes electron capture and changes into neon.